Hello again. It's me. Uh, thank you for watching the first part. Uh, I'm going to sh do the second part. So I'm just uh, for people that didn't watch the first part, please uh, check it. And uh, I'm just quick. I'm saying the question here. So let R be the region bounded by x plus y is equal to one, x is equal to zero, and y is equal to zero. And show using the transformation method that this double integral is equal to that. So what we did uh, in the first part, we draw the transformed region. The, we draw first the region, the bound, the bounded uh, lines bounded by these lines, yeah. And then uh, we choose a transformation. Uh, so we choose u is equal to x minus y and v is equal to x plus y. Uh, we find the the corresponding uh, bounded uh, bounding um, lines. Oh, this from that line, from that sorry from that line, this, and then from that line, this. And then from that line, this. That are the three lines, that and that and that. So that is the transformed region. Why we we have to draw it? Because uh, it's make it easier. You can find, you can see uh, the boundaries of the integ uh, the transformed uh, double integral. I will see, will show you now. So. So we had uh, before the we had before. We had before the double integral of where is it? We had before. Yeah. We had not this one, this one. We had before the double integral of cos things, yeah? So which is I'm going to transform it here. Which is which is the uh, let's call this one i yeah so we have here i is equal to the integral yeah uh, before it was the region now the transformed region rt call it rt yeah cos of x minus y which is we said that x minus y is u, so cos of u divided by x plus y, which is v. Yeah. We have to multiply this by the modulus of Jacobian, and then du dv. So. <coughs> So, so now uh, to do this, we'll have uh, first to find the, the Jacobian, the Jaco uh, the modulus of Jacobian, which is is equal to modulus of x u x v y u y v x u is x uh, x in uh, differentiated with respect to u and x u in dif differentiated with respect to v so partial differentiation yeah and in here we have to use uh, x as a function of u and v and y as a function of y, u and v as well we found before that uh, we find from here x is equal to u plus v over 2 and y is v minus u over 2. I'm going to write them here so just so here we have uh, x is equal to what is it here uh, u plus v over 2 and y is equal to v minus u over 2 okay so when we yes uh, when we do this so that is equal to 
x u so x differentiated with respect to u which is half yeah x with respect to v is half as well y with y with respect to u y with respect to u is minus half and y with respect to v is half so this half times half minus minus half times half which is quarter plus quarter which is a half and because it's positive it's you can leave it just like so so that is the jacobian now this i this i is is equal to half double integral uh, cos u over v the jacobian is half i took it out here yeah? du dv and here we must find find this uh, this boundaries these two limits from where we find them from the boundaries from here from here so yeah all right so here we start with the the u with the u so u is equal from two so here we see that u goes we can take it from this line to this line okay so from this line to this line you see it's going from here to here from here to here always from this line which is v is equal to minus u or we can write it u is equal to minus v yes so yeah so u is going from this line which is u, uh, u is equal minus v to this line you see the direction u is equal to v to v while u is going from this line to this line v is going from zero this point from here till here yeah from zero till one while u is going from minus v to v v is going to from zero to one okay these limits we find them from here okay and here clearly we will start by integrating with respect to u so we do we'll do this integral first and then we do the second integral Let, let's call this one the inner integral so integral uh, inner okay so just th this inner we are going to do uh, find it you can do it all in like you can leave it all together but just to make it clearer i'm going to do the middle one which is the inner integral with respect to u and then do the other one with respect to v sometimes it's better if you swap them you do with respect to v and then u but this time it's clearly we will start with the, with the u with the respect to u so i inner is equal to I'm going to write it again from here so u for u from minus v to v cos of u over v du here don't forget that v is a constant yeah so that is it is v sign u over v okay uh, 
this you can get it you can uh, do it here straight or if you don't know how to do it uh, you can use the you can uh, I'm going to do it just here in other paper so this integral from here to here if you don't want to watch this you just uh, forward the video a little bit so the integral of cos u over v to u yeah uh, here u is equal to minus v then v yeah so how we do this uh, we can say let a is equal to u over v yeah that mean du dv is equal to du dv is equal to 1 over v yeah you integrate with respect to v so you get to you pick u so d so, sorry for that 